Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we're gonna compare the old Star Wars toys versus the new Star Wars toys. So the old Star Wars toys is like from the 90s or 80s somewhere there, and then the new one was from like 2018 until now. So yeah, in the last video, I showed you this magical box. Not really magical though, as you can see here. So this box contains all of the Star Wars toys from old to new. So first. You're gonna see the new ones. There's actually a lot on my shelf. So yeah, I'm also gonna show it there. So first is the Stormtroopers first. So first is this one. I think it's like a flame trooper, flame trooper or something like that. Both of these. Because they look the same. Right here. As you can see, let me just put this back. As you can see, uh, there are the new troopers. Right here, this looks more cartoony, cartoony to be honest, I don't know why. As you can see, this one can like move its hands like that. Then this one is the flame troll guy. But he's supposed to have a backpack, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> but as you can see, this one can't move their, his legs and all. It can only move like this part right here. Like that. And then, but um, this one, you can move everything right from here. But you can't like control the whole thing though because it has this thing. So yeah, this is the two new Stormtroopers and also this one. I think this one's from the like the Black Series, I think. I don't know. I forgot. That is this one right here. Uh, this one. The new Stormtrooper right here. As you can see, this is the big one. It, it can fold and all. And then everything can move. So this is the new Stormtrooper. Not the old one. As you can see, everything can move flexible and all so yeah now we're gonna see this bike i forgot what's it called right here so there's actually like a bike the guy who's training the bike but i can't seem to find him I, I only find the old one i guess this one i don't know so this guy is like quite rusty i don't know why right here i don't know why it's all black and all so yeah this is the bike right here it could barely like move this handle a little bit but you could then we have like his engine right here then we have the seat the pack and then we can like uh like i don't know put the exhaust on it like something like that like you could open this part like that let me just just like that both of them like that so yeah and then that's supposed to be a launcher i think because they see this plus time it looks like it and you can move this part right here move this part like right there it's kind of hard though to move it yeah just like that okay so now we're we're ready to show you this one we're going to see the good guys now so this is the first one uh this is a common alien from star wars this is a pilot as you can see at the back it has like a jetpack <laughs> i don't know why that's a thing and you can move everything you move his head his hands not really everything though, but as you can see, it has a rubber, like the rubber line right here. Like his oxygen, oxygen I guess. So yeah, as we can see him, this is like a common alien. Like I've seen it everywhere from Star Wars I think. Lots of fan art and all. So yeah, now we're gonna see the Chewbacca now, but not like the real Chewbacca. is a cartoon Chewbacca like. So yeah, this is it. This Chewbacca has a crossbow from the movie i guess and as you can see it looks cartoony yeah then the legs right here you can bend it but it's quite hard yeah just like that you can bend it now and unfortunately unfortunately you cannot like remove this thing the backpack but you can like make the hands wait let me just show you what that means what i mean is like the, both hands can move like that at the same time so yeah that is the Chewbacca then we're gonna show you the R2D2 right here this is the new version R2D2 yeah, yeah. as you can see right here and yes it has wheels it can move I, I don't know if you can see that or not so it can move and yes you could like take this out like there's a supposed to be like a third leg somewhere here like you could open it but my nails are short so yeah uh, this is the new new one there's, I think you're supposed to put like a pencil here I don't know and yes, you can move 360 degrees right here. But I don't know if like it's the opposite way because there is this, like this, this parts right here. I don't, 
it looks like it's supposed to be at the back but this is in front so yeah this is the r2d2 now this is one of the main characters not one of is the main character from for like the star wars the force awakens and also movies after that that is ray as you can see right here and this is not just like a normal ray with his with her like stick bow stick something like that he has she has like a machine gun for some reason it was in a package right there and you can just put the hand put the hand in just inside the handle just like this let me just yeah just like that something like that so as you can see uh, it's the machine gun is kind of big oh i forgot there's like a pistol a small pistol right here like raised pistol so you're just gonna put it back in the socket where's the socket right here so you just put it like like that just gonna <laughs> small as you can see and yes you can like move the legs and all but it's not really flexible because of the rubber rubber shirt i guess so yeah that is ray one of the main characters the main characters <laughs> tada as you can see um if i'm not mistaken this is girl is yes this is a she if, if i'm not mistaken uh it's from like a solo story if i'm not mistaken um i if i remember that well so as you can see uh he has like the hair at the back the fur and the helmet the helmet looks cool and then this is like movable cape and all and we have this also movable and then they have the hands so yeah everything can move but the head is not really flexible because of the hair at the back so yeah this is the girl from the solo story solo han solo star wars story and then i'm gonna show you uh, the the newly like is the new boba fat toy it comes with this it, it, it's not like a flamethrower it, it is a flamethrower wait i'm just gonna show you the boba fat first as you can see right here you can't really move everything you can only move like the hands like that and then move the legs like that but you can move the head um 360 you can move it then you can actually like take out this backpack right here you just take it out and then replace it with these guys and you can just put it like this oh wait oh actually oh okay so oh actually you can just put it both inside so firstly i can put like this part right here let me just put it inside right here so this thing has like a shield pad right here then you can just put boba fett the handles right here and yes you can like remove the handles here like the fire and then you can put it back and then you can just put the jetpack right here like the rocket and the jetpack put it like this so yeah it has like a bigger bigger what's it called like a ro bigger rocket i guess bigger backpack right here so yeah this is like a cool toy because it has the backpack and yeah yes um i forgot to mention the ray and the pilot like this pilot this pilot and also this boba fett can actually scan at the bottom right there the, the blue logo right there so yeah that's actually kind of cool then we have snook so this snook we bought it like when the star wars the force awakens was the last jedi something like somewhere there as you can see it has like the force the force symbol like not the symbol like the gesture then you can move everything like the hand you can move everything even this part right here then also the legs and the cool thing is that this like the the shirt is actually like i don't know what it was it's called like it's not like plastic or anything it's like cloth is it cloth i don't know as you can see this is what it looks like inside right here without the cloth right here let me just open this right here <laughs> So yeah, it's actually normal that with the cloth. And then as you can see, the detail is a lot. Wait, let me just put this back. Okay, so as you can see, there's lots of details in the head right here. At the, like, the belt, you know, the hands. And he, he has even the ring right here. Wait, uh, I forgot. Is it there, right there? I don't know if you can see it, but there's a ring right there. So yeah, it's kind of cool to see. They make uh, like a detailed snook. You can also see like the, what is it called? The neck. The neck with the hole right there right there <laughs> okay so first i'm gonna show you the stormtrooper first that is not really a stormtrooper like the pilot right here is the pilot not 
I guess it's the same pilot but it's like a newly uh newly new toy I guess as you can see right here but you can't really move everything you can't really move like it's not really flexible but you can actually take off his helmet revealing this guy right here and yes there is like a hole right here to place this thing like the backpack and the oxygen I guess you can just put it like here then you can just put it in like this like that and then you can just wear the mask like that so yeah and then I'm gonna show you it doesn't just look like this there's actually a TIE fighter right here all along wait I'm just gonna remove this this guy right here as you can see this thing it comes with this thing it's so it's actually new but there's webs because I didn't move it so yes you can like shoot this guy you just press the button right here the button is right here when you press it this will shoot these two will shoot right here so yeah you can just bam wait let me just oh so yeah it has like green lasers right here and then we have this the red dot right there yeah let me just put it here and as you can and yes you can like uh up this up right here you can put this down put this up then you can actually like remove this thing like the wing like you just press this button right here then you can then, then, yep just like that oh and the web is falling i think it's dust not web so yeah, it's quite sensitive you can't really like mess it up too much so yeah that it comes with that and you put the guy inside here the cockpit right here let me just put this back for a while uh, there's also like a specific like symbol right there you need to put so that it doesn't get messed up like it doesn't it follows the order okay so i'm just gonna open this right here i'm gonna open it as you can see it's actually quite detailed inside there's two seats for some reason i thought there was only one seat so yeah then we here we have the gun right here the gun then i'm just gonna put put the guy inside right here let's just make him do this then it's not gonna fit that well so we have to like move the hands like this a little bit let me just move the hands like this a little bit right here so yeah just gonna put it inside like this oh. I, uh, oops so okay this is actually kind of hard to like pull this back i think uh, okay let me just put this back okay and then i'm gonna put this back um okay so you just gonna put it like right here at the at the front right here. Oh. Okay, that was random. You're gonna put it there. You can actually fit right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there you go. Yep, he's just right there. There is no like handle and all to to like uh, make him look like he's driving. But it still looks cool. It has lots of detail, and this is the like the new Tie Fighter, not the old one. Just gonna put this back right here. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Unfortunately, you can't really see it, but you can see a little bit. But it's like dark. So yeah, this is the Tie Fighter. He's so cool to see, like the Tie Fighter and all lots of detail inside this thing, especially inside the cockpit because we don't see that much. We only that like put the minifigure inside. So yeah, I'm gonna put this guy. And if you're wondering who is this, this is the villain from Spawn. I made a review about it a few days ago. I uh, this this one about the Mortal Kombat one right here. So yeah, I have a video on that. I made a video on that. Make sure if you're curious about the spawn, make sure to check it. I'm just gonna put this back. Okay, now we're gonna rev now we're gonna show you one of the favorite villains from Star Wars, the one and only Darth Vader. As you can see, he's doing his like signature, like force post force choke, and it's the cartoon style. I really like this style because you can see like the shoulders right here, it's sharp, and then you can see the head is cool, and you can see it's flexible. Then as you can see the lightsaber right here, it's, it looks cool, but it looks too cartoony. Then right here we can see the belt, quite detailed belt right here. You can see all the buttons. You can see the chest right here. Then we have the legs, the legs right here, it's flexible too. 
that you can do that and all then um yes it's also it's rubber not like normal like the cloth from um snow and i forgot what was the characteristics oh yeah i forgot um it could do this like it could it could like you can put it on a, like a swinging style right here like you can put the lightsaber like this then you can just move his body right here just like that it looks weird though so i'm just gonna stay like this just like that right here looks like he's force joking someone okay i think that's like that's all i think oh wait there is more <laughs> okay we have this bounty uh, if i'm not mistaken it's from uh star wars the force awakens uh she was if i'm not mistaken poe dameron's friend old friend they were like a spice a spice thing i don't know i forgot as you can see you can't remove this helmet but the neck is kind of small and the head is kind of long but it still looks cool because you can see like the detail right here there's a lot of lines then there is the guns right here the gun holder right here as you can see and she's actually doing like a gun gun like he, he looks like she's holding a gun because that's supposed to be a gun that like i put it like here but it's inside the box then as you can see you can actually like move her legs and all flexible and yes there's actually like one category i, I forgot what it's called uh because like like especially the snow one is all from like the same box like the same uh series i guess i think it's like the black series or something i don't know because i only know that series it makes like detailed stuff okay and then we have the mandalorian and this was uh this mandalorian is before he got his best car suit right here as you can see we have his sniper right there and yes you can move everything right here and the helmet you can move the helmet too and yes the the feet is kind of flexible actually and, uh, and this thing is made of rubber right here and it's attached to his neck so yeah it's actually kind of cool to see like he's putting his like sniper behind his back looks like a cowboy toy <laughs> so yeah then we have uh, what was this thing called like the soldiers the guard soldiers guard right here so i really like this soldier guard not the other one because he has like the that thing was i don't know what it's called and yeah it looks cool i like his armor right here then <laughs> his cape is like this for some reason but this is more perfect and yes you can like walk but you cannot like put it like behind push it behind for some reason just do that then I'm gonna show you like the Lego version. I had the Lego version. It's right here, right here. You can see you can actually move, but I don't want it because it destroys like, like how 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 like how amazing he is. You can move the head. You can actually move the body too. I think it's like Lego arch architect or something like that. Like it makes like characters from Lego, and then the characteristic for this one, you can like you can see the handle right here. You can just do it like that, and it's supposed to move. But it's not in the flat surface. I don't have like any table. I have but like I need to move everything there. But yes, you can see the cape is from like cloth right here. Then we have the feet right here. The feet is also Lego right here. As you can see it's all Lego. So yeah, at the back. Uh, this is the most Lego part right here. I had a struggle to do that for a while. So yeah, I think this is better than this one. <laughs> it looks smart, way way better. I can, as you can see the shoulders also much much better so yeah i think there's more new ones that we just check for a while <laughs> okay we have this one um this this guy this robot is from rogue one if not mistaken i don't know if the movie is called rogue one <laughs> it's like it's supposed to be like a prequel as you can see it has like a slender man look like for some reason it has long like long like hands long feet but the feet doesn't like move straight like swing straight it swings to the side for some reason but yeah it's actually a good robot uh even though it has the imperial sign you if you watch the movie you probably know then you can move the head the head is kind of long but oh you can actually move like the neck right here so yeah there is more tada i think some of you know this guy as bosk i don't know if i said it right 
So uh, if I'm not mistaken, this this alien was actually like a bounty hunter, like uh, Boba Fett, hired by Darth Vader. If I'm not mistaken, right here. As you can see, he has three hands right here, sharp claws, sharp nails, and you can actually open his mouth, but you can't really see. It, I think. Oh, you can see it actually. Okay. Then you can see the jacket right here, and the guy is like using a sniper or like a shotgun or like M16. I don't know. Yeah, he can't really like flexible. He's not flexible. And yes, you can like move this part right here. You can move the knees all the way down right there. So yeah, and you can also move the feet. So yeah, it's actually kind of cool to see this guy because when I first like when I first like touch this guy like hold him and play with it is was so hard to move because like the like this thing is like the rubber. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, and this is like the new toy, like the Black Series, I guess. I'm just gonna call it Black Series if like the detailed one, if I'm remembering it. And this is the big one right here. Okay, so this is like a toy, I guess, because I used to play it. But the clock eventually like not working. There's supposed to be a clock right here. So this is Boba Fett. You put like the, what's it called thing? thing? That uh, gear, that thing where he, you where he aims to like put the rocket out, but it doesn't sell like the rocket. On and off is still not gonna work. I am doing the on and off. So yeah, this is like a Lego Boba Fett. It's actually you can actually play it with more like of these Lego collections, but we only buy the like the Boba Fett, I guess. Okay, now we're gonna show you the old Star Wars toys. You're not gonna believe it because wow, there's a lot of less like lots of old Star Wars toys. Okay, so the first one is like a like a side character, but they still sell it. So yeah, it, um, I don't know if you like remember them because they are old, and some of you are probably watching is like kids who born in the two thousand. But I watched the Star Wars nineteen nineties movie. is a good movie. Everything is a good movie about Star Wars. So the first one is gonna show you is this guy. This guy right here, this the big guy right here, big belly button guy. He's wearing like a pajamas. I think it's like an alien, I guess, as you can see. Then we have like his handbag, I guess. I don't know what it's called. And you can't really move because you can't re it's not really flexible because it's in the 90s. So yeah, it's kind of cool to see even though it's a side character. But they also make a toy about it. And there's actually more side characters to these toys. And it's amazing how they also produced all even though it's not like people don't even remember it. But this side character, you probably know if you watch the 1990s, like the old Star Wars movies. That is the Imperial Guard if I'm not mistaken. Is it called the Imperial Guard? As you can see, this is like claws right here. It can move, everything can move right here. Except for the helmet, you can't really move the head. So it's amazing to see like, they, they're not using like actual cloth and like shirts. Because now they just use plastic instead of real things like this one. So yeah, he can move the hand right here, but I don't know if that's supposed to be like the stick thing where he just does this. So yeah, it's so cool and I prefer making him look like this. So and then we're gonna see like a clinic guy, I guess like a doctor and this was I think it was from the when I think this was this was from when Anakin had a kid like he um his wife needs like an operation and this doctor was helping him if I'm not mistaken, I forgot. But yeah, this was actually the side character. It's like a doctor right here. It looks creepy, but it's actually a doctor. You can actually remove the gas mask. I don't know if it's a gas mask or not. Then you can actually put it back right here. So yeah, I hope like the new toys are like this too, like detailed. And you can move like everything. Because that's cool. Then we have this guy. I don't know what he's called, but I think he's also like a side character. As you can see, like an octopus guy. And then we can move his hands right here, all of his hands. Then there's also also like his skirt like this, his pants right here. He can move his legs too. And yeah, this kind of look creepy, but he's wearing the Luke Skywalker shirt. If I'm not mistaken, looks like the looks like the shirt. Then we're gonna show you this. So this is actually one of the bounty hunters. David hired fired it fired hired. If I'm not mistaken, right here. This guy is from Tatooine obviously, it looks like it. As you can see the backpack, quite detailed backpack right there. 
So yeah, yeah. this actually kind of cool to see like this guy still has a face, not like faded away because it's an old toy. Then this alien, um, I forgot where this is from. As you can see right here, it looks like a like a child, I guess. I don't know. It just looks small. Then you can move his head right here. Then there's like so oh, there's also like some details right here and like his face has a scale. Then just like I don't know how to do this, but there's like a lot of detail and it's just a simple toy just a shirt and a face an alien face then we have this guy I this guy looks so weird as you can see like his eye patch is this head and his brain is stuck behind right here for some reason I think he doesn't have a brain but <laughs> he looks like a pirate actually but his eyes looks like a like like an alligator like an insect right here, so that's kind of creepy actually. And actually, a lots of detail in this toy also, like especially the belt right here. That's lots of detail, and it's not really flexible because it's an old toy. Like every every old toy is not flexible, only like some. I'm gonna show you after this. Okay, so I have never seen a toy that looks like this. No, what I mean by that is like I never seen the cell. But because it's old, it some of them is really like lost. So introducing one of my favorite characters to General Grievous. Grievous, but for some reason it's weird because I was a kid when I accidentally uh painted this with Sharpie. Okay, okay so as you can see here, you just ignore uh, the red Sharpie right here. We have the crawly legs right here. Then you can bend everything, it's an old toy. And yes, it has four hands. You can just put it out like this. Let me just show you properly. Like that. Ta-da! And unfortunately, there is no like lightsaber. There's supposed to be like a cape. And then there's gonna be like an armor right here. As you can see. And yes, the cape is like, uh, not like rubber. It's actually like cloth like that. So yeah, it's, this is like way, way better. This is the best toy I ever had right here. The general grievous toy as you can see and yes you can do like this the spider crawling thing you can just put this at the back right here then make make him do this and there you go straight out of your nightmares <laughs> okay um i think everyone will shock will be in shock when you see this but back then when Darth Vader was first introduced he actually had this thing right here the toy he actually has like the back cape right here, like this I guess. As you can see, this Darth Vader looks totally awkward right here. As you can see, the, I don't know what it's supposed to be right here. I think it's supposed to be like this. Uh, like this right here. I don't know. <laughs> and as you can see, uh, you also have lots of detail right here. Right there. But at the back, there's nothing. It's just this thing I guess. And this is actually like, I don't know, what's it called? Um. It's like when you buy your glasses and there's like actually like the thing where you, you know, you like clean it. I don't know. I, I think it looks like that, but it feels different, like plastic, I guess. And then I'm gonna show you. Okay, I'm gonna show you like this side character too. It's the alien right here, and it's short. Um, compared to this too, is a like a chew. No, what was it, what was it called? I forgot. It's not Chewbacca. Um, I forgot what's it called. <laughs> E Ewoks, yes, I think it's Ewoks, if I'm not mistaken. As you can see, the Ewoks are taller right here. So, yeah, it's also kind of cool to see this guy right here. Because, like, I've never seen they make a side character toy. Like, in the in the movie, I never see, like, they selling the, like, I don't know, the Stormtroopers and all. Like, not the Stormtroopers, like, all the side aliens. Okay, so I'm now going to show you, like, all the cyborgs, robots. For a while so firstly is this guy right here is so flexible as you can see it's also made of plastic but it's like rusting already i don't know and there's a hole right here i don't know what's it for i guess to put like a backpack or something i don't know oh i think it's a nail it's just a nail rusty nail so yeah and then the next alien next robot we're gonna show you is this guy right here okay so i don't think this is like a robot it's more like an alien as you can see right here is the alien looks like a bounty hunter I think I don't know I forgot as you can see this guy right here it has a big alien nah uh, alien eye and there's like the detail right here and the scale aliens alien face right here 
Yeah, all of the like the detail from the hair right here. Then the next robot we're gonna see is the one and only C three PO, but the devil C three PO because of the eyes right here. For some reason, they make the eyes red. I don't know why, but this is like totally covered in gold right here. The gold is still here. As you can see right here, and then we can like move the legs and all. But yeah, it's actually kind of cool to see then and now that I actually have this thing. It's not really a toy, it's just put it in the pencil like there. As you can see, it's different, like the color looks more like like gold from this one. This one like yellow, I guess. So yeah, it's so cool to see an old version of C-3PO and it's also the weird version of C-3PO. Then we have this guy right here, it's like a rider. It's for this, this model right here, this one. So I showed you the new version and this was the old version right here. Much much bigger. Just put this and it's supposed to be like a handle right here. It's supposed to be a handle right here. Then you can just put that and then as a gun. Then you can just ride him all over the place. And yes, there's like these things as well at the back. But you can't really like open it, I don't know why. Then we have like the engine exhaust thingy. So yeah, this is way better than the new one. Because it's much much bigger. Much much detailed actually. Because there's lots of like, like I don't know like the buttons but I don't know what they do like in the movie. Okay, then we have Chewbacca in a weird Chewbacca right here. As you can see, he has no like crossbow right here. It's so weird to see this toy because like why does he look like this can he look much much better why is his belt like this can he just give him like a rubber belt so yeah this is a weird chewbacca all this is just one of his kinds i guess and as you can see at the back right here in the front not not uh, not that a lot of detail because it's just fur okay I, if I, uh, this guy also uh, featured on the mandalorian is the one and only this guy i don't know what it's called but I think in the Mandalorian is a different type of like robot right here. This is like the old version I guess as you can see. The head can turn 360. And there's tons of tons of detail right here. From the head from to the body right here. Oh. Then we have the body at the back and the front. I don't even know if one of it is at the back or at the front. I don't even know if the head is at the front or at the back. Because it, it's like it's too detailed to see. So yeah, and then we're gonna show you, I think that's all robots. Oh, there's actually like a cyborg right here, I'm gonna show you right now. You guys from the 90s probably know this guy right here. He has like the cyborg, uh, what's that thing called like? The cyborg antenna thing right here. Uh, not many details, he has like this big, big shirt from like Aladdin. Then we have, I think that's enough cyborg, I think. Then we have this guy. Oh yes, I forgot to feature one of the main characters also. The one and only Princess Leia right here. Uh with his like with her signature chair signature hair right here. As you can see. And then we have the shirt. We have the hands. We have the back. And then there's also like a name tag right here, like right there. I don't know what it says not. I don't know what it's supposed to be. I guess it's a name tag I guess. Uh so yeah, I think okay, there's more actually. Um since we introduce you Princess Leia, I'm gonna introduce you Han Solo, the old version when he looks so he looks so cowboy like. We have the holster. I don't know where's the gun because it's old. I can't find any gun inside. As you can see, wow, we have like this Wild West jacket right here. We have the face can move, and then we have like the Wild West boots and the pants, even the belt. And wow, oh, the shirt, we can actually like, move the jacket like that. Like, move the jacket. Oh, oh no, it's actually a new one, actually. It's not an old one because we have this scanner thing. Sorry, because it looks like the old one. Okay, so this Stormtrooper is like from, like, Planet, what is it called? Is it Planet Hoth, this one, not mistaken? Um, this guy right here is a Stormtrooper from Planet Hoth right here. As you can see, it has lots of detail too, the backpack and also the front. But it doesn't have a gun, it doesn't have like anything, it just looks like this. Well, in the movie, if I'm not mistaken, there's supposed to be a gun, but it's old. I guess back in the 90s, they just sold one of these, like just like this, and then the others is just 
accessories I guess Okay, so the next one is this guy right here. I don't know who is this guy, but as you can see, he's an alien guy right here. So as you can see, the cape and also this backpack right here is all flexible. You can like move it and all like that. You can move it and all. So it's actually kind of cool because like you can move it wherever you want or like if the box doesn't fit, you can just put this out. But you can't. I don't want to. Then as you can see, uh, we have the legs and all. It's all like you can like move this part right here i don't know what it's called so yeah um there's more there's this guy right here i don't know who's this guy he looks like a general <laughs> i ha i don't know lots of like side characters right here he's wearing uh, like a hat a mustache and we have this shirt this is just a normal like jacket with a zip and then we have like this red red hand for some reason i don't know who's this i think it's like a jedi general or like uh imperial general okay so the big reveal the old stormtrooper the super old toy stormtrooper this <laughs> it looks so funny look at that wow as you can see you can move it because like this is like one of the first toys this was in like let me just search oh okay that's actually like a uh, text here 1977 this toy was from 1977 like you can put it right here i don't know if you can see that i don't know how to like focus it i hope you can yeah you guys can like edit this because this is amazing as you can see this is like the oldest toy i think right here because you can't move the neck so yeah there's actually more actually like this guy okay this guy looks a lot like from the planet hoth like the cold planet because you can see his goggles and his cape and just the vibe what he looks like he's an imperial obviously like he's wearing grey as you can see he wears like the Darth Vader back helmet right there then not really much detail he only has like his coat like there the red thing is his coat so I just noticed like there's also a similar character like this right here so I don't know why he's, he's posing like that you can actually move it away but I guess he's supposed to do like that that's supposed to be like binocular so it looks so much like this guy right here, like at the at my left. So yeah, I think they're like brothers, I guess. They're like the same general, but in like Jedi and Imperial way. So we're just gonna put this aside. I'm gonna show you this guy, this girl or guy, I don't know. So he looks like Anakin, like his shirt and all. It looks like Anakin, but I guess he's a side character. Looks like a side character, as you can see. But you can't really move it, it's not like the cloth or like rubber from the others. Then we have this guy. I don't know who's this guy. He looks like Darth Maul based on these, these three things. So yeah, you can't really move it. Oh, you can, but like it's kind of hard because it's like sticky now. And also there's also tons of detail right here like the, the, like the shirt and all. Like even the face has tons of detail but I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of bright. Then we have... Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader right here you can't really move it it's like a standstill kind of like toy there's like a hole right here I don't know what it's for so yeah that's actually kind of cool because it's like he's putting like saber like that right here like and his body right there it looks super super like cool oh and there's also a cute guy right here look at that oh that's so cute so yeah this is one of the like the aliens from this kind from the like the like the Ewoks I guess I'm gonna call it Ewoks sorry if I'm mistaken so yeah and then we have uh, we have like this guy right here we have the Falcon but not just like the Millennial Falcon you can actually play this thing but it's ran out ran out of battery so yeah there's supposed to be like a console right here you can just press it press it and all of that so yeah it's, it's kind of cool to see like they actually made like a device before phones was invented I guess I don't know if phones was invented now like in the 1977 okay then we have these two I don't know who is this like a pilot I guess also tons of detail and the head and also like the body and also this guy this guy I guess is like uh, if I'm not mistaken is a, a, a side, side character right here is an alien he wears like a head like a helmet thingy I think it's part of his body I don't know and he has jacket right there, the blue one right here. So, uh, yeah, and, and that's also 
There is also one more toy I'm going to show you. And this is like the biggest old toy. Not really. I'm going to show you more. So yeah, this is the one. The one and only. Boom! The clone trooper right here. This is the biggest one. Not really the biggest one. As you can see, it has this gun right here. You can just shoot him. Pew pew pew. Then we have, you can move the head. Also lots of detail. But it's just uh, a clone trooper. And unfortunately, you can like move the gun. You can just swing it like that. Also for the other side. So yeah, there's actually more actually. Ta-da! Wow! This is the AT-80 right here. This big, this big dog right here is the AT-80. As you can see, it's supposed to be like a, what is it called? Like a plastic, transparent plastic I guess. But, you know, it's removed because we can't find it I guess. Then, and then we have like this thing right here, like his mouse. I don't know why he has like metal rods in it. And wow, the detail in here, they just like put like plastic but you can also see the detail from inside right here. As you can see like right there, you can see like how all the buttons and all. Then inside here, like inside this thing, it's like a battery, looks like a battery right here. But the like the part when you put it like, you know the spring thingy is already rust. So you can't like control it anymore. Right here, it's supposed to be right here, like this part right here. This part right here is like the battery for this one, right here. Uh, just like that, right here. Then, you're probably wondering what is this handle thing. It's where you control the head like this. This is how you control the head. Move up and down, you know, left, right, left, right, and all of that. So yeah, and then we have also have the minigun right here. The gun and all. This is where the pilot goes. And yeah, I think it has the connection between these characters and the big one. So yeah, it has tons of detail right here, especially the legs, the body, and also some stickers. Then at the back also, kind of lots of detail right here. Also like right here, the sticker right here. Also this one, there's also lots of stickers. So yeah, and uh, yes, one has unfortunately like cut off. Like, uh, uh, it, it cannot be like put it like that because it's like totally snap out i guess i'm gonna say so yeah uh this i think this is all of the old star wars toys i have right here if you have made it this far thank you so much um for all of the like for like uh, waiting for uh, waiting until here and if you did wait until here uh, make sure to comment down below like star wars so that you know i know that you watch until the end of the video so yeah, it's kind of cool to see all of the Star Wars toys from then to now or now to then. And you can see the progression from like, we wear like rubber, rubber suits, cartoony like style, also the at, -AT and the Clone Trooper and all. So yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Okay, so I, I'm still new to this. Um, there's supposed to be like a video right here, somewhere here. And then there's supposed to be like a symbol, my... Uh, channel symbol I guess so make sure to click to click uh, the latest video from the last time I'm gonna show you the video about the Boba Fett helmet and make sure to subscribe just click it right like right here or here so yeah thank you for watching bye bye